In the previous videos that I've done, I've mostly gone over how to install Docker on Windows and Linux. Um, right now I'm in a Linux environment, but uh, so the Linux video that I did uh, turned out the text was a little bit hard to read. Um, since it was mostly concept, I decided not to redo that video, but in this one, I, there's a lot of material uh, that I'm going to be going over. So I wanted to make sure that this is legible. I've increased the font size and made it bold, so hopefully this will work out. Um, I'll be, is what I'll be doing is making a Docker image um, and just running a simple uh, Node.js server inside of it or service. Um, and I'll just kind of walk through how to do that. Uh, there's a little bit of material behind it and I want to try and explain quite a bit about it. So I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm going to try and watch the time so that I don't go um, into a lot of time per video, but I'm expecting this will probably take two to three videos to cover. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want is my Node.js service. So this is just in a Ubuntu VM that I have hosted on my Windows 10 box. And so here, um, I've written a code snippet and we'll just do, um, we'll create a file called server.js. Uh, in here um, is the service that I've created. Uh, it's just a simple hello uh, to this uh, get request um, on port 8080. And so let's get out of this and quit. And, let's, and just to kind of show you what it does, node.js uh, server.js will run it. It will tell me that it's running on 8080. Um, oh, before that, I'll see IFB, find out what my IP is, got my IP right here that I need, and then go ahead and do the service. Okay, um, we'll switch over to browser to, and then it returns hello as we'd expect. So I'm going to come in here and we'll go ahead and um, go ahead and kill this. And of course, this is no longer going to respond as expected. Okay. Um, so we've gotten that far. Um, the next part would be to actually interact with Docker. And you can see here, the only Docker image I have is Ubuntu. Um, but I don't want to have to hop into Ubuntu and install it. So what we end up doing is we create a file called Docker file. So that'll be vim or whatever your editor is, Docker file. Um, it is case sensitive. So we do want uh, capital D and <clears throat> the rest of the letters to be lowercase is the convention. Come in here and I have a snippet that I've already generated for this um, to kind of go over. So we'll go ahead and paste this in. So I'm saying I want to use the base of Ubuntu. And then in this, um, I'm going to copy that server.js file that I just created. And I'm going to move it into a folder called node apps. And then I'm going to make that working directory node app. Now, this is just a vanilla Ubuntu setup. So I need to install the dependencies that are needed to run it. So run um, my app git update, um, install, I'm installing ping so that I can test my networking, and then um, Node.js and NPM, of course. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that. So now if we look, I have both of these files down here. The next step that I need to do is to actually build the image. And so that's going to be a Docker build. And then in my current directory, look for the Docker file in order to run the build in the current directory. And then I want to tag it as Docker, uh, as Docker. And then uh, since this is Node.js, I'll call it Node.js. Um, right here, uh, this is just a practice that I like to follow, is I'll tag it. This is my first version. Granted, it's my first version 
but it's also going to be my latest. So I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to do a Docker um, and tag it as 1.0, and I'm also going to do a Docker and Node.js as the latest. And I'm going to go ahead and build this. This is going to take a few minutes, um, and it's going to go through and it's going to build every layer as they're happening. Um, since we ran these as separate run commands, it'll create a layer per run command. So if you don't want these individual layers, uh, like it would have been completely viable for me to do, um, you know, install all of my dependencies in one line. So I had run apt-get install ping, run apt-get install node.js, run apt-get install npm. I could have just done the run apt get install and then listed each one. So run apt get install ping node.js npm all in one line um, with backslashes there. And then it would have, <coughs> or sorry, I didn't even need the backslashes because it's all apt get install. Um, and then it would have all done it in one line and then it'd all be in one layer. Um, the layers can get important because um, each layer that you're building, um, it technically only has to be built once locally on your machine. As long as you have that layer, it's based upon a hash value. So if Docker can find that hash value, it doesn't have to go through this rebuild process. Uh, so just depending on how you want things to function, you can save time or have these really modular layers that you can rip and pull depending on uh, what your needs are. Um, I'll go ahead and, and let this finish. I think you guys kind of understand what's being done. It's just installing these dependencies and I'll bring the video back when uh, all of these dependencies are done and the image is successfully built. Okay, so the image has been built. Um, we've got a successfully built down here, and then it gives me the image ID. So we can go ahead and do the Docker image, images, and we'll notice that we do have the latest and we have the tag. You'll notice that the image ID is the same. That'll be important later, and I'll, I'll come back to that as we build different versions of the same Docker image or sorry, it'll, it'll be updated versions of this Docker image. But right now, I want to now show you that, um, that this file is in this Docker image and that we can run it uh, with a few caveats, and I'll explain that. Docker run, so we want to run it as an interactive terminal, so IT, and then this docker-node.js. So there's several options here. If we just leave it this way, don't use a tag, it's going to go by default to latest. We can force it to go with latest by giving it the tag of latest, or we can do this based upon 1.0. I'm just gonna go off of latest, and I'm not gonna use a tag. And then we wanna use bash. Okay, and now I'm logged in as root, and then it gave me a container ID right here. Um, and I am in that directory that we wanted to be in called um, node app, right? So in here we should see the server.js, which we do. And it should have also installed node.js. So what is it? Dash dash versions. And we have node.js installed. So we should be able to run this, right? Node.js and then do our server.js. And okay, it's up and running. Um, server running on 8080. Now, we're going to come in here and we're going to do a refresh. It's still not working. Okay, this is, is it, this is to be expected, um, and I'll explain what the problem is. But I um, actually think that this is probably a good place to cut the video and, uh, and start a new one. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'll see you in the next video.